Uh, hello YouTube, today I'll be showing you how to set up a Minecraft server using Bucket. Uh, what you need to do is go to bucket.org and across the top you'll see Craft Bucket. Well, Get Craft Bucket and click on that and it'll take you to this. Then what you need to do is click on cra get, uh, Download Craft Bucket's latest recommended build and it'll give you this and just click OK. Uh, whilst that downloads, uh, we'll just go through this. Uh, you'll see where it says put the .jar in your desired directory and that will basically be the folder which I'll create in a second for you. Uh, all you need to do is control X on it and it'll basically cut it out of there. Then go to your desktop and paste it in there. Then what you need to do is do new and folder and I'm going to call this bucket server and we're going to drag that into there and open it up. Uh, you'll notice that the craft bucket snapshot is in there then what you need to do, you need to do a new text document and then open it up. Then what you need to do is get this code here, copy it and paste it into this, and do file and save as. Uh, this must, this won't work unless you do this. Uh, you've got to do a run dot bat. If you do anything else uh, apart from dot bat in the end, then it will not work. And you've got to save it and close it down. Then on here, you'll notice that this is generated a Windows batch file. If you just double click it, it'll basically make your server for you. It's really handy, there's pretty quick too. So as you can see it's generating the spawn area for us. Uh, it'll just get to 100% for that's level no, it's got to do level 1 as well. And then it's done, that's generating your world. If you want to put in your own custom world, just place it into here and name it world. Or if you don't want to have to rename the folder, which then what you do, the name of that folder which you want as your world, you just place it into there in the server properties file under level name. Uh, okay, so while we're in here, I'll just go over all of this. Uh, allow never, if it's true, then the never's on. Uh, spawn mod monsters, if this is true, monsters can spawn. Spawn animals, if that's true, mo animals can spawn. Uh, online mode, if this is true, then people across anywhere in the world can join your server. Uh, max players is the maximum of players that can be on your server at one time. Your server IP is the IP of the server. Uh, if you're using your computer for this, uh, you place in there your IP address of your computer and to get that you just go to showmyip.com. Uh, PVP, if that's equal to true then people can kill each other. Uh, PVP can be annoying on time, so for me I normally set the false. Uh, level seed, if you want to create, if you know how to use level seeds, then you just place in the seed which you want, and then get rid of the world and regen it for you. Uh, the server port is the port which people will join. It's best to leave the 25565, because then you only have to put in your IP to join. Uh, but don't forget, you're going to have to port forward the port which you use here, with the IP that is here. Yeah, to do that, I'll just stick a link in the description to a website which you can uh, follow more on, or I'll place a little video link on this video itself on how to port forward. Allow flight is basically if that's set to false, people can't use fly mods or anything because they'll get kicked for using it. Whitelist, if this is set to true, then a whitelist will be used, and the whitelist is this fire file here. If you want, I don't know, 123 ABC to join, then you have to put it there. Uh, if you want ABC123 to join as well, you place it there. Uh, if you don't want him to join, then you don't have him on the list, and he cannot join because he's not on the whitelist. Uh, we're not going to say that because there's no edits there. And spawn protection is basically the area around spawn that players can't edit unless they're an op, which will bring me onto this file here. Uh, op files are basically the admins that you have in your server. So if you had 123 ABC as your server admin, then he'll be able to do all of the commands that are possible on the server no matter what. Banned IPs and banned players. Banned players bans a specific player and banned IPs bans that entire IP address so if you know there's four people on that IP then you'll ban all of them if you do an IP address banning or if you just want to ban one of them you just do banned a player. Uh, the other thing as well uh, now we'll just check on the spawning and it's done. The only way to stop a server is to stop, but we'll just check that this is working here. So we load up Minecraft. And we'll log in. 
then on this, uh, I, local host don't work on this. I was just doing uh, another server thing. So to get your IP address, you have to do show my IP, and it will show your IP. So I'm just gonna take this here and copy it and get rid of it. Oh yeah, uh, I forgot about that actually. Uh, to get your IP address, uh, you just gotta do IP config on the command line and whatever is under IPv4 address is the server IP address. So if we just go to there, line it up, multiplayer and join. It's gone pretty smaller, I do not know why that has happened. 1.92.168 Okay, so we'll just connect you. As you can see, there's the server, it works. So we'll just close that there. And there we go, as you can see, it showed that I've joined and I've left. Uh, so basically, the other things that you need to do uh, for this, you can add plugins. Uh, all you need to do for plugins is put in a dot jars, which you'll get from Bucket in the queue then start the server up and it'll create everything for you the only way to stop a server is do stop in the command line and it'll say all this and but whatever you do if you're going to want to stop your server stop is the only way to do it whatever you do never click on this because it'll basically mess up your server it'll basically show that it's offline but then when you try to launch it again it'll say it's already running so make sure you always do stop when you want to update or stop your server uh, so okay, there's plugins, there's a world, and there's the never world. You can have a uh, single player world there, and you can have your single player never world there, as long as you name it world underscore never. So there we go, that's how you create a bucket server. Thanks for watching.